Today we're going to show you how to make the ultimate chocolate mousse and introduce our brand new cookbook. And even better than that, we're going to give you guys a chance to win a signed copy. Now before we get started on the recipe, let's tell you how you can win a signed copy of the book for yourself. All you need to do is watch this video, go away and make the chocolate mousse for yourself and then upload a picture of you with the chocolate mousse to our Facebook page and tag yourself in it. Now go get creative and here are some examples of things we made earlier. Now for your chance to win one of 10 signed copies, Ben, what are we going to do? We need to make ultimate chocolate mousse, so we're going to melt down some chocolates and then mix it with whipped cream, egg whites and our classic flavour of orange. Okay, so the orange and chocolate combo, Lovely. brilliant, everyone loves it. To start off with our dark chocolate, so Jamie, if you can crack that into a microwavable bowl, you want quite a strong dark chocolate for this. Is this the different percentage of cocoa and stuff like that? Yes, so the stronger you can get the better, especially mm -hmm. in something like chocolate mousse where it is the star of the show. Yep. We're also going to add in a little dribble of milk. <laughs> okay, that's just going to help to melt it without burning, and it's perfect for our mousse. And Jamie, if you can put that into our microwave, it needs about a minute to melt down. In the meantime, mm -hmm. Barry, we're going to do our eggs. So if you can crack those, yep. what we need is the egg whites in our mixing bowl, and you can put our egg yolks there, okay? okay? So carefully separate them out between shell and shell. No pressure, Baz. I'm trying. <laughs> this is the perfect example of a recipe that is purely for beginners. It is, nice and simple, yeah. uses literally just four ingredients, but the result is luxurious. Simple food that never fails to impress. It even makes me look good. You're gonna be whisking our egg whites, okay? And, and yep. Jamie, you're yeah. gonna do exactly the same with double cream, okay? So that goes into another bowl. There's another whisk behind. Got it. We want stiff peaks of egg whites and a soft peak of cream. We'll get rid of the egg shells and I'll grab the chocolate. How are your arms? <laughs> <laughs> How are Hang your arms? <laughs> right, step aside. Right. <laughs> now at this point you can see the chocolate doesn't look like it's completely melted, but it's nice and soft, and if you just give it a stir, you'll get a nice, glossy, silky smooth mixture. Perfect. Barry, I think you're about there. Perfect. Stiff peaks, that's what you want. What about me? And Jamie, soft peaks, just so you see that it's just going to hold its shape. It's nicely, tiny. but don't go too far, otherwise you will end up with butter, okay, if you go too far. So, that's why you as it is. So I slow down. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right, our other flavour to go with the chocolate is the orange. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So bring that over. You can make any flavour combination you want. Chocolate and coffee works really well. You can put some fruit into it, some orange. We're going to do the zest. I say we. You're going to do the zest. <laughs> if you can cook together, it's so much more fun that way. So zest the orange into there. We can get rid of our whisks now because once we put all this air in, we now need to keep that air in by using a spoon. Is that good? Yep, make sure you get all the stuff off the bottom as well. Nice. Beautiful. Already you can smell, I love zesting lovely. citrus mm. fruit, you get that mm. fantastic flavour. And that's going to go into our cream. Oh. oh yeah. I would probably eat that just like that. I thought you might, which is why I'm going to give you the bowl to lick. There we go. Mm. And meanwhile, we're going to oh. fold this in. You've got to keep it nice and careful and slow at this stage because you want to knock all that, that air out. Amazing. What an amazing kind of chocolatey, creamy mix. It's probably a good time to talk a little bit more about the book. Yeah, I, I guess so, it makes sense. Well, you do the book, and I'll fold our egg whites into our mix. How about that? Yeah, as some of you probably already know, Sorted started a few years ago in the pub um, when Ben discovered that none of us lot could cook. Hey, speak for yourself. You can't cook either. You no. still can't. No. <laughs> so true. Yeah. So he would write down recipes on the back of beer mats for us to take away and cook back at uni and things like that. Um, after we did that for a few months, we realised that one of the better ways to get these recipes across was to put them into video form. Um, which is now what you're watching here, and it's grown and grown and grown from there. And before you know it, there's actually now, from just three of us, there's now over 100,000 of us, and it's crazy. It is absolutely mental, and fortunately for us and for you, Penguin, our book publishers, have picked up on it, and they've written our story up into a book with over 140 recipes, loads of tips and tricks, and it's now available for you to buy. Including this beauty. This very recipe. So now all we need to do is pour our mousse with all that air bubbles in there now from the cream oh. and the whisked egg whites. That doesn't look much like a mousse to me, because don't they usually have the big antlers and... Yeah. Ooh, you idiot. This is the French classic mousse. Ah, uh, the mousse. That That's is... what I've been going wrong all these times. I thought my mousse would get too minty. So there we go, clean up the edges. Obviously you can put it into any dish or glass that you like. We want to see some fantastic inspirational photos. But for now, that needs to go into our fridge to set up for at least an hour, but a couple is good. The mousse is perfectly set up now, loads of air bubbles in there. And now's the important bit, if you're going to make your photo look sexy, you've got to give it a little bit of a garnish at the end. So some cream and Barrett zest a little bit yes. of orange onto there as well. 
Really go to town on this. Make your photo look the best. Don't forget to brush your hair before you take the photo of you in it. <laughs> there we go, a really simple dessert that anyone can do, but it's dead fancy and impressive. It's our very own version of chocolate orange mousse from our new cookbook, Beginners Get Sorted. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good. Look at all those air bubbles. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That is so good. I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. Mm. Now if you like the look of this recipe, there are over 140 more in the book, Beginners Get Sorted. There's a link in the description box below where you can find out more information and pre-order it. So go start making those moves and taking the photos. We're going to pick 10 winners at random. And remember, anyone in the world can enter. Leave me some. They've got to make this. It is amazing. Yeah.